Hi, I'm Jean Ann Wright. I am mayor of City of Stillwell. I've been the mayor since May of 2019. Prior to that, I was on the city council from May of 13 to May of 17. Being Cherokee has just uh, always been a very natural part of my life. Seven generations in the Stillwell area and one of the reasons that I ran for this office is because I wanted to help not only our Cherokee people but all people to be able to talk and feel they had a voice here. I serve on a task panel that meets weekly. Uh, it's the Adair County COVID Task Force. There's physicians, uh, county commissioners, uh, judge, different people on this panel and we've been discussing it how the um, our numbers are just going out of bounds and we felt that one of the reasons uh, is because very few people were wearing masks. The task force said is there anything that the municipalities can do and the county can do to help uh, bring mask awareness and make people wear masks and I said Absolutely. We'll write a resolution, we will mandate the masks, and go forward. It did not pass. In our city offices, you will wear a mask, uh, whether you're an employee or a visitor. We provide the masks for the visitors that don't have them. But if you want to do business, come inside our buildings, uh, you will wear a mask. I feel so honored that our chief uh, has recognized the importance to our Cherokee people, that we've got to keep our people alive and healthy, and that he would think enough that uh, us attempting to do the right thing would be recognized, and to me that's one of the biggest honors I've ever had in my life. My name is Lane Kendall, City Council, Ward 5, the City of Stillwell. I think when I decided to run for City Council, I'd kicked it around for a while. At some point in your life, you have to step up, and we need young people to take more responsibilities. We've accomplished a lot over the last two years, and uh, we look to accomplish more in the next two years. We decided to fight for the mass mandate just based on you know the citizens' need for public health and safety. It's a very dangerous situation. This virus is very dangerous. It's affecting thousands of people across Northeast Oklahoma. Um, the tribe has kind of set precedent, you know, on how to handle this virus. Uh, not only am I a city council member, but I'm an employee of the Cherokee Nation. And Cherokee Nation has put their citizens' health as the number one priority. Growing up in Adair County, you know, it's a rural area. Um, hunting, fishing. To me, that's what I thought being Cherokee was before I entered my professional career and just realized how big Cherokee Nation is in lives of people, especially in Adair County. <sighs> Cherokee Nation has just helped so many people in Northeast Oklahoma over the last five months. And um, just a, a fellowship and camaraderie, you know. I, I'm honored to receive the award. I don't, I'm not sure that what we've done warranted it. Um, we just thought of it as a, the right thing to do at the time. But I'm proud to have it.